You emceed the Variety, the children's charity event, yeah. which was a formal, very, very formal event and, and a huge success. It was wonderful. The event brought in $300,000. It's mm -hmm. the most formal event that we go to here at KCTV5. So it got me thinking that, you know, the Metro is chock full of formal events in the summer mm -hmm. and in the spring. Yeah. We have prom, we have weddings. So what do you do if you're headed to a fancy event and you don't know what to wear? I didn't know what to wear. So I sent out a style SOS to our fashion pharaoh, Walla, for some help. He took me to the gown gallery downtown. I've never worn a strapless because I have this fear that it's going to just fall down. <laughs> so a lot of people actually have this fear of like strapless dresses, like yeah. if you bend over, if you're dancing too hard, whatever the mm -hmm. situation is. The key is finding one that fits properly. So you kind of scale it at the rib cage and then scale it up. So this one actually fits you great. You could probably do a full exercise in this and it wouldn't even fall off. So what we have on here is this beautiful like chiffon drape dress. This obviously reads incredibly formal. The color's great on you. The beading adds a very tasteful elegance to it. Does it fit okay up here? It feels a little... It's a little bit big, so what we do is maybe just fit it just a little bit mm -hmm. um, across the bust so that it holds on tight. This is not a good look. Is this on backwards? <laughs> you guys. So... <laughs> <laughs> so this key, this no. is, so the point no. or the uh, the thought of it okay. all is we want something that's kind of <laughs> funky and fresh and cool for the event. This is funky and fresh. Is it a little too much for you? Absolutely. It's a little overbearing a little. for you and probably not the one. I feel like a chocolate cream puff or something. <laughs> She's missing is one of those what it's long awful. time. It was itchy. But, yeah. Okay, here's the dress I chose. This is a picture from the event. That's Walla. He came, he handled the whole thing behind the scenes. Despite my fear of a strapless gown, Walla and Sharon at Gown Gallery convinced me to go for it. I did have them put on a boatload of sticky tape on me because I still was oh, paranoid about it. I didn't want to have a Janet Jackson moment. <laughs> um, this is a good example, though, that you got to push yourself outside your comfort level when you're shopping for formal gowns and special occasions. It's important just to try to try something a little bit different because mm -hmm. it might work out. And I have to say, when I saw the pictures that you posted and Rob posted over the weekend, my jaw dropped at not only the outfit, but also your hair, too. Oh, that's nice. You know, I we mean, want to do a good job because it's such an important yeah. event. And this was yeah. mad props to Lindsay O'Donnell at Encounter Salon. We love Encounters. She did my updo. Again, I gave her a general Fabulous. idea of what I wanted, and then she put her own flair on it. And I think this is another tip from the experts at Encounters. Let them do their thing. If you're going to have your hair done, let them do whatever they have. They've got a plan in their head, and they're the experts. It's why you go. So if you're getting your hair done, yeah. just let them do what they want to do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you looked great. Rob looked great. Seriously, when you guys were photographed together, you guys look like kind of like brother and sister. That's what people you know? have said. You kinda Funny, did. we heard that. You know, I think yeah. we should rename Walla, Walla. That's what yeah. it's like. Like, yeah. it's like, Walla. boom, presto. Like, it's just... Yeah, because you, you show know? up looking like poop, and exactly. then suddenly Walla's like, <laughs> and you're Walla. like a different person. I mean, yeah. Walla. Mm -hmm. All right.